Okay, let's start over because I got a phone call from Noe, which wasn't the call I was looking for. But I mean, not saying I don't want to call from Noe, but uh, I'm going to have to leave the bells and notifications on and the dings because I'm expecting a very important uh, phone call or message or text, um, and I'm not sure when it's going to happen. Uh, so I was starting the video earlier, and then Noe called me. So, of course, I have to answer. But anyway, uh, I wanted to do a video that talks about a series of, um, uh, of videos that were done here in Seattle. And it was done by Como News, which is a local news station. And they were pretty much just talking about Seattle in general. Some of the things that people may not see or that they may not know. Um, you know, I've had people on here who, um, uh, used to, not as much now, but used to talk a lot of stuff about Tacoma and they would have all these negative comments and blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And that has pretty much stopped. Like it is, it's literally just halted. And I think the reason why it's halted is a few. One, again, a lot of these people haven't been here since the 60s or the 70s uh, or maybe even the 90s. Some of these people are from Seattle uh, and they don't really come down here anyway. Uh, very few are people who have been here, live here, that type of thing. And when I say been here, I'm talking very recent to really understand what they're talking about. Because if you look at Tacoma and Seattle in the last, let's say, five years, because we've been in this area for five years, and I could tell you firsthand, if you look at the two cities in the last five years, they don't look anything like they used to. Now, Tacoma still looks very much, the skyline looks the same. Certain angles of Seattle, it looks the same. But when you start to go just a little bit around, you, Seattle looks so different. You can't even, it looks like... A whole new city. Tacoma, the the changes are not as drastic in terms of just buildings. Just overall, the city has changed drastically in the last five years. And it's starting to get a lot busier as a city. Same with Seattle. Seattle has grown tremendously. We're talking just in the last five years. But when you look at Tacoma... The reason why they're not saying as much is because Tacoma's quality of life is going up, in my opinion. Um, the quality of life is going up. However, there are certain areas where if things are not taken care of by the city, it could go downhill quick, right? Uh, one of those would be substance abuse, drugs, homelessness, which those two are very close together uh, here in this region and affordability for homes. And when you look at Seattle, this series was done talking about how Seattle has changed so much just in the last few years. The police and the crime rate in Seattle just in the last couple of years has started to just go up. Now, when we talk about, you know, like murders and stuff, we don't really have a lot of that here. In the region. I'm going to be a little bit nasally because I'm still trying to get over the cold or flu or whatever we had. So I apologize. We don't have a lot of that here. But we have a lot of petty crime. And it does this stat that talks about of all the big cities. Seattle is one of the highest in property crime. The only other big city that has more property crime is San Francisco. I mean, when you look at the property crime in New York, it's way over here somewhere. <laughs> That's a small little... And then when you look at the property crime of Seattle, it's a bigger block. San Francisco's bigger than Seattle when it comes to property crime. It's really bad. And it talks about the drug culture that is here. The drug culture on the West Coast is way different than other places. Yeah, a lot of communities are being impacted and it could be what we're seeing today here is what's going to filter out to the rest of the country later because a lot of times what happens here happens to the rest of the country at a later point but it's pretty bad 
a lot of the homelessness here, some of it is due to people who are laid off and they just hit hard times. Some of it's due to people who have chronically been homeless for years. A lot of it, the surge. Oh, and some of it's due to people just coming here. A lot of folks who are homeless will just come here. Uh, we see it in Albuquerque when we live there. We've seen it here. They just travel. They get a ticket, bus ticket, Greyhound, what have you, train ticket. They head west. Well, some of those who are homeless are due, a large portion of those are due to drug abuse, substance abuse. And this article, this uh, series, talks about Seattle. And the latest one, which has really, a lot of the folks here, and I'll include a link for the video. It's about an hour long. Uh, for it. But the first one, or no, the first one that we saw talked about drugs, open air drug selling and dealing, and how the cops are trying to, to get a hold of that. Now, we're talking downtown Seattle open air drug sales. You don't see that here in Tacoma. I'm not saying you don't see it in certain areas, probably, but downtown. Never. Not in the last five years. You'll never see that. Um, and if you do, it's on a small scale, like someone probably, but I've never seen it, and it's just rare for that to be the case. Just very rare. One of the other things I can tell you, too, is go to, and this is why a lot of folks in Seattle, I think, have stopped criticizing Tacoma because... When I say quality of life is better, traffic and stuff like that, sure. You don't have that issue. The amount of property crime up there is higher than it is here, I think. Uh, Tacoma suffers from a lot of uh, crime statistics stuff because the population is so small, but we have a whole lot of other factors around us that creates that issue. Uh, so it may not be folks in Tacoma creating the problem. It could be other folks, uh, but it still adds to our overall crime rate. Uh, but one of the things that you will find in Seattle that I kind of forgot to talk about is the smell of urine. There's not a place I can go downtown in Seattle where you don't smell urine everywhere. You can go to like Westlake, which is a big center. You can go into the elevator just to go up and down to some of the nice stores there or down to... The street level just to go to outside shops or go down further to go to the subway station and you smell urine. When you're walking around some of the most tourist spots, you smell urine. Now, in the last couple of years since we've been here, because it wasn't like that when we were there in terms of what people are seeing now, but now there are homeless encampments all along a lot of the tourist areas. Hold on one second. All right, I'm going to try to finish this before I get too sick, but where you can't even hear me, I got to take some medicine. But there's like all of these little tents or, or uh, campy tents all along popular areas. And they're showing tourists saying, we can't believe we were surprised. You know, we were surprised that you see this and you would think it would be trespassing or you'd think that they would do something about it. We didn't think that this would be what you would expect in Seattle. And you didn't see that before. I'm talking that, you know, when we lived there, you could go down to some of these touristy spots along the waterfront, Pike Place Market. You never saw that. There were homeless encampments, but they were kind of away. It kind of, you have to see them at a certain angle. Now, they're in very key spots. There used to be areas in the International District where you would see a huge area out, out on the street where you could see that. Then they went through and got rid of that. Downtown, there were certain areas where you could go and you could see a lot of homeless folks with open tents and everything else, and then they pushed that out. Now it seems like it's back, and it's kind of everywhere. And the, the, the name of the series is Seattle is Dying. 
and it talks really it's it's well done the 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 series the documentary is really well done i think there's three parts to it uh the first one just talks about the drug culture and just what goes on and what people don't see it makes you know through all the hustle and bustle there's a lot of things you don't really pay attention to but that the cops notice and that they pay attention to or they're in different areas looking at things that you don't even pay attention to every single day but they were talking about how it's becoming more difficult for them to enforce any sort of laws because the leadership in Seattle is kind of throwing their hands up in the air and not doing anything about it like people can get caught for drugs selling drugs and be right back out on the street and so the 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 video is really really good I would encourage you to watch it, but I have to say that Tacoma, you're not going to smell urine on the street downtown. I've even seen poop, human poop, in certain areas of downtown Seattle on the street. Noelle, when she was taking the bus, she could see poop sometimes on the bench or on the ground by the bus stop. Now, this is not to give you a bad impression of Seattle is to basically say this is the real. This is, you know, of all the great, and there's a lot, there's also some of the negatives. So now I think that people in Seattle who used to criticize Tacoma and talk about the Tacoma aroma, which we had a lot of paper mills and mills and smelter plants and things like that, it was industry that you smelled. In Seattle, you smell human waste. Loads of trash everywhere. There's, and, and the police were saying there's a difference between the drug addict homeless versus the down-on-their-luck homeless, the person that lost their job. Big difference. Because the amount of desperation is different. Those who are strung out on drugs will live just any kind of way. There's, there's a huge dirt patch and there's a lot of homeless folks that live there and even defecate there. This is not to demonize anybody, but it's to basically show that there are some people who have a negative view of Tacoma, but this glorious view of Seattle. And when they get there, they're shocked. Again, it's not to say that Seattle doesn't have a lot of great things. It does. But this video, I think, is very important to show that research a city very well. Seattle has changed since we've lived here. Since we lived in Seattle, the city has changed. That's not to say the city's just falling apart and everywhere you go it's bad. No. A lot of this you're not going to see. If you go out to the non-touristy areas, you probably would never even see some of this stuff. But downtown, you will see it. Downtown Tacoma, you're not going to see that. You will see maybe some homeless people every now and again, but you're not going to see what you're going to see up there in Seattle. It's just not the case. But anyhow, I'm going to leave the link down to this uh, to that series or to that video of the series down below. I'm going to go take some medicine. I'm getting so congested I can't even stand it. I know you guys hate it because you can't even hear me well. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and until next time, I will see you. Take care.